This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Mockingbird by Eminem. I'll be teaching you how to play the beautiful piano instrumental, so once you learn this, you can pretty much play, sing, and rap this for yourself, or just enjoy and play the instrumental as well. Pretty awesome as well. Give you a preview before we start learning it goes like this Beautiful theme, let's teach you right now. So I uh, will break it up into a few parts, it's easy to learn. So first part, right hand starts on the B, okay? So we can just start wherever you want, okay? Uh, so the B, you can start actually just below middle C, that's like the original key, so middle C, C, so just B. All right, and then up to G, 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 A, G, F sharp, F sharp. That's it for the, actually, we'll continue, F sharp, E, two more notes, all right? So we'll break up the lesson into two parts, all right? So let's learn it again. So B, G, 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 A, G, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E. And that's the first part, right hand. Okay, so B, G, 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 A, G, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E. All right, left hand, we have four chords. Very important four chords because these four chords are the same in both parts. So if you learn it right now, uh, you can pretty much blitz through the second part, okay? So left hand, left hand, we have four chords. They are E minor, E, G, B. Okay, fully white note chord, C major, C, E, G. And the third chord is D major, D, F sharp, A, and then fourth chord back to E minor. Okay, so essentially there's like three different chords to learn. So e minor, C major, D major, and back to E minor. All right. The thing, if you're going to do the left hand right here, okay, you'd be like doing the same note as the right hand. So you're sharing the notes. So it can be a little bit confusing. So if you want to do a octave below, you can, but it's a little bit more muddy there. But for the sake of... Learning it for now, or you can do it that low, and then you can, afterwards you get used to it, you can combine it and make it an octave high and share notes with the right hand. So here's the two hands together, so B and E minor together. Third G and C major together. F sharp and D major together. And then E and E minor together. Yeah. Okay, once you get more familiar, okay, then you can move the left hand on occupier and share notes. So you can just sometimes just leave out the B on the left hand. Like that. It's just essentially just leaving out the B when you first play the B for the right hand, okay? Nothing much. All right, so moving on. Second part, right hand continues, goes E down to A, A, B, G, F sharp, E. That's it for the right hand. Let's learn it again, it goes E down to A, A, B, G, F sharp, E. That's it for the right hand. Okay, there you go. Left hand, we have the same four chords as I said. So E minor, C major, D major, and E minor. Okay, so for this one, you'll be sharing too many notes. So you can just like sometimes move down. And then the last chord, you can do it on the lower one like that. Okay, so turn together. So together, together. Get a note here, together. That, you can move it like that. Okay, or you can just do it all down there. The left hand, together, 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 just like that. Okay, there you go. Okay, yeah, because if you share like that, it's kind of like you can't really hear the chord and the right hand there. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, you can do an octave higher for the right hand if you want as well, so you don't really clash. And then, left hand, you can like improvise on the chords. Like dun, 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 dun. that kind of thing, okay? Jumping around with octaves, improvisations of arpeggios and rhythmic patterns. Do that, you can be like.
yeah beautiful theme hope you enjoyed this lesson now you can play sing and rap this for yourself or just enjoy improvising with it okay so hope you enjoyed this lesson by the way if you want to learn other awesome eminem songs just search up this favorite song name followed by amos stone in the youtube search to find those other lessons to learn for yourself whether if it's like you can search even not eminem there's i've done many other artists on this channel so just just search your favorite song name followed by amos stone in the youtube search to find those other lessons but as for now that's pretty much it for today's lesson if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.